back to Cheap and Green. So it's dinner time here and I'm going to make a family favorite, risotto. Now I know you're probably thinking, oh risotto, it takes forever, you're standing at the stove and you're stirring and you're stirring, but I have a secret. I do my risotto in the microwave. So the first thing you need to do is heat up your oil. And you need about three tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm measuring really carefully here. And you're actually going to put in butter as well. Now you don't have to do this. If you don't want the butter, then don't put the butter. Just compensate by putting a little bit more oil. But I like to put a little bit of butter for flavor. So now I'm going to put this in the microwave for two minutes just to heat it up. So you can see that the butter and the oil are all nice and hot now. And I'm going to add my fresh vegetables into this. Now the great thing about this risotto is it's very forgiving and you can kind of make it into anything. You can make it purely vegetarian. You can add in um, leftover chicken or shrimp or whatever you want. You can customize this. Um, you can do a purely mushroom one, which is really nice, or purely tomato. It's up to you. Uh, tonight I have some vegetables, some mushrooms, and I have some shrimp that I'm going to defrost, and I'm just making it up as I go. Now I prefer to buy the prepared chopped garlic in oil. It's just a lot faster for me. I use a lot of garlic. I like to include it in lots of things, and this just cuts out a big step for me. So I'm going to put in, oh, maybe about two teaspoons or more because garlic is yummy. And then I'm going to chop up an, a smallish onion. All right, so that's my onion. I'm just throwing it in. And a little bit of celery. Red pepper here. So I'm going to dice that up too. Now these are fresh vegetables that I'm using today. You can absolutely use frozen vegetables, that's fine too, but you would not want to put them in right now. You'd want to hold off and put them in near the end because you wouldn't want to cook them for 20 minutes. So this is the rice that I'm going to use. Um, you can see that it's Italian style rice. Sometimes it's also called orborio rice, but the important thing is that it is a short grain rice. So that's what's going to give you that wonderful creamy texture that risotto always has. If you try and use a long grain rice, like the regular rice, it is definitely not going to work out. You're going to end up with pudding. So I want to show you what the difference is between a long grain rice and the short grain rice. You can see, I mean, obviously they are long. These ones are shorter and they're kind of fatter. This is actually uh, Thai rice, jasmine rice, and this is your arborio rice here. So here's all my vegetables, and of course the oil and the butter are at the bottom. And I'm going to be adding in one and three quarters cup of my arborio or short, short grain rice. And I'm going to stir it really well. The rice needs to be very well coated with the oil, and that's what's going to help give it that creamy texture. So now I'm going to take my rice and vegetable and oil mixture and pop it back in the microwave for two minutes. So here it is out of the microwave and now I'm going to go ahead and add my stock. Now you can use your own stock, you can use vegetable, you can use chicken, beef, whatever you prefer. Um, if it's homemade, terrific. Uh, you could buy the store-bought kind. I'm trying this this time, which is a concentrated vegetable stock. It's a paste. Here, I'll show you. It's a paste. I've never used this before, but the ingredient list is really, really good. It doesn't have a lot of salt, and most of the ingredients are pronounceable. So I'm going to give it a whirl. So here it is, and I want four cups of stock. And unlike the stove top, I'm just going to put this whole thing in. Now on the stovetop I would do it a cup at a time. 
until it disappeared, which obviously would take a very, very long time. For this, I'm just going to dump it in, and I'm going to stir it up. I'm going to put this back in the microwave for 20 minutes, but I'm going to stir it maybe every, I don't know, five minutes, seven minutes, whenever I think of it. Now the shrimp, I haven't added yet. You'll I'm sure you've noticed that um, because I bought cooked shrimp so if I was to put it in now and cook it for 20 full minutes I basically have little rubber bands in here it would taste awful so I'm gonna wait until maybe five minutes before and just pop them in so they're basically warmed up so here's what it's looking like still pretty wet. If when you're checking it and stirring you're finding it's looking dried out, then just go ahead and add more stock or even just warm water. So I'm going to test this and see if the rice is cooked yet. It's pretty close. So I'm going to add a little bit of water because I think it does need a little bit more. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the shrimp now. Just stir it up. And back in the microwave for maybe another five minutes. So here it is, right out of the microwave. And the final step is adding a cup of Parmesan cheese. You don't have to add this if you don't want to, if you're maybe watching your cholesterol or you're not a fan or you're eating bacon, then by all means skip this step. It's pretty darn amazing without it. Just stir it in. I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute or two just to let the cheese melt and then it's dinner time. So thanks for joining me again on Sheep and Green. If you're enjoying the show, please subscribe and I'd love to hear your feedback, your thoughts, and any tips in the comments below. See you next time.